So in today's video, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm making my first video about my Mac Pro 2019. No talking to you about filming, mountain biking or GoPros. I have a new gadget which I ordered way back in February this year and finally it arrived yesterday and I've had a little play with it. And in my exploration of how I can connect this thing up, I discovered much to my surprise and delight, it has improved the speed of the USB ports on the back of my Apple Pro XDR monitor. So in this video, I'm going to run through some speed tests and show how this hub has restored the almost redundant ports on the back of my XDR monitor to be really quite useful now. Easily stuff up. Just before we start the speed test, let me quickly show you the Mac Pro setup I have. I have a Mac Pro 2019 with an Apple MPX Vega 2 graphics card installed, which, as some of you will know, comes with four Thunderbolt 3 ports, giving a total of eight Thunderbolt ports on my Mac. Since I have a lot of devices to connect, some of which are not all Thunderbolt capable, I've also installed a Sonotech Allegro 4 USB PCI card, which has another four USB ports on it. I connected this card to Samsung T5 SSDs, and it's because of this card is the reason I bought the OWC four port hub, as this card has been replaced once already, and the current one in the Mac has been having problems mounting the T5 drives on the Mac Pro restarting. This problem got worse when Big Sur was installed I don't quite understand the connection between the two and I did not get an answer when I contacted Apple Care. They said, give it a few days, settle down. If you still have problems, give us a call back. In my head, that translated to, we don't know and we cannot help. So I had a choice. Do I buy another Sony Allegro card at 150 pounds or buy the new OWC Thunderbolt hub for the same price? OWC's hub was much better value and it gave me more options down the line if needed. Now connected to the Vega 2 graphics card is my Pro XDR display, which as you know, supports 6K resolution. The good news is the display is awesome. The bad news is the 6K pushes the bandwidth of the Vega 2 graphics card to the limit. And so the potentially free, very useful USB-C ports on the back of the monitor are limited to USB 2.0 speech, which sucks and so limits their use. And hence the reason why I installed the USB-C PCIe card. If you were to buy a Mac Pro today, you would have the option of getting a Radeon W5700 XT card, which supports the new generation on Navi Silicon. And this allows a much better bandwidth and so allows the three ports on the back of the monitor to run at full speed. When I bought my Mac, the 5700 XT card was not available. The Sony USB card is still working today, if a little flaky, and so I do not trust it. It will not fail completely one day, but I'm not gonna take it out until it fails completely. So that got me thinking, how am I going to hook up the OWC hub? I have heard somewhere that the OWC hub improved the speed and hence the speed of connected devices over the built-in ports of what I think was the new M1 Mac Mini. Could this be the same for the XDR monitor? What would happen if I plugged a cable that would go into the XDR monitor and plug it straight into the OWC hub instead, then connect the OWC hub to the display using the USB 4 cable supplied in the box? Would the USB-C ports on the XDR monitor improve in speed? I thought, why not? Should work, got nothing to lose. But before I do all that, let's run through some speed tests on the existing setup using the Samsung T5 drive, connected to first the Allegro USB PCIe card. I'm gonna use the same Samsung drive for all the tests like this one here. And I'm also going to use this certified Thunderbolt 3 cable for all the tests to ensure consistency. So this is a speed test for the T5 connected to the PCIe card. This is the speed to beat. We have 491 megabits on write and 519 megabits on read. Now I'll connect the T5 drive to the XDR monitor and repeat the speed test. The speed is expected to be limited to the USB 2.0 speeds. And of course, we see that here, we get 40 megabytes for both read and write. I'll now introduce the OWC hub and put that between the Mac Pro and the XDR display. I'll plug the Apple supplied Thunderbolt cable into the OWC hub on the front. The OWC hub acknowledges the host by turning its badge logo color from white to blue. Now using the USB 4 cable, connect the hub to the XDR display. The XDR monitor display 
continues to operate as expected from the display point of view, which is good. Now let's test those ports on the back. So I'm going to reconnect the Samsung T5 drive to the monitor. Okay, it looks like we do have a very big improvement on speed. We get a massive 411 megabits per second on write and 414 megabits per second on read. That is very good, very happy with that. We do see it is lower than when connected the PCI card, which came in at previously the 491 megabits on write and 419 megabits on read. Now let's see what speed we get if we plug the T5 directly into the OWC hub and run that speed test again. Okay, we're getting 476 megabits on write and 502 megabits on read. So it seems there is a little bit of a bottleneck being introduced by the XDR monitor, but nothing like the previous USB 2.0 speeds. I do not have any other USB 3.1 or 3.2 devices available to me, so I cannot do a comparison to see if the speed on the XDR display can go any higher. So in summary, here is a table of the speeds achieved when connecting T5 drive to the various ports on the Mac Pro, the OWC hub and the XDR monitor. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching this far. I hope you liked it and found it useful. Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you like filmmaking and want to know how I make my films while mountain biking in Scotland, then I invite you to look at the other videos on my channel. If you like what you see, then do hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn on notifications too. Keep well, keep safe, and I'll catch up with you guys next time.